in this week's Two Wheels Better, the ultimate in motorcycle control. It's Indoor Trials. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello. Very echo in there. That is actually the world's largest tyre. And this is one of the world's top motorcycling events. It's that time of year again, the Sheffield Indoor Arena Trial. And one of the secrets of trials riding is to carefully study the sections and know exactly where you want to put the wheel before you actually go for it. And Wayne is very good at that. Well, it's nice to know that Paul thinks I'm good at something. And the truth is, I've walked this. I've walked it while it's dry because soon it'll be wet and the silly trials riders are going to ride up it whilst it's wet. Not only do they go up it, but tonight, this is the World Championship rather than the European Championship that they had last evening. Tonight, the big boys are going to come down it as well. And I wish them the best of luck. And if you think that was impressive, this is the next optical. They start at that end there somewhere where they come up over the sleepers down in the middle, across the big hump in the middle, up to this thing, and then they leap the bike off and it finishes up on the floor. No problem. Then they're going up this. Easy peasy. And then it's simply a case of uh, riding down the other side. Just like that. There you go. What could be simpler? <laughs> Nothing to it. I can't believe he could dare say that. These are motorbikes they're using. Little motorbikes with little tyres. And they're going to ride along these pipes, balancing, and they're going to end up on here. And when they've got on there, they're then going to get on here. And when they've got on here, they're then going to go down here. Yes, easy peasy. And the obstacles just seem to get bigger and bigger and even bigger. Would you believe they're going to ride up that little ramp there in front of me onto this tyre. Now, there, there's six foot. So this tyre's 12, 13 foot, God knows what. But they're going to finish up on the top of that on a bike jump off the other side into the bucket of a big truck and finish up somewhere over there. That over there is in fact over here in this bucket. It's flipping massive and the silly twits are going to ride in and out of it as well. They amaze me. It's quite, it's quite high. Time now for some serious competition. Eight riders would take part riding through six observed sections each and the first man into the arena was 22-year-old Yorkshireman Graham Jarvis on a scorper. Being first out didn't seem to bother Graham Jarvis. He rode superbly well and collected just 10 penalty points. Next man out was from Japan, Kenichi Kuriyama, just 19 years of age and riding a beater and having a little problem on the logs and on the pipes.
Despite a rather dodgy start, Kenichi Kuriyama didn't have a complete disaster. He lost just 17 marks at the end of his round. And next man out was Amos Bilbao, the 27-year-old Spaniard riding a gas gas machine. The waterfall proved far too slippery for Amos's tyres. It's fair to say he didn't ride anything like his best and gave himself little chance of qualifying for the final with 24 marks lost. Next man out was the Isle of Man crowd pleaser, 25 year old Steve Colley, riding the gas gas. Steve Colley almost made it up the waterfall section without dropping a point. He lost just one on this particular section, giving himself a total of 16 at the end of the first round. Next man out was David Cobos, aged just 18 from Spain, once again on a gas gas machine. Seventeen marks lost was to be the final total for David Cobos of Spain. Now stand by for the youngest man in the competition, Takahisha Fujinami. And he's the only man to ride a Honda machine and he's certainly not very pleased with it, he threw it off the logs there. Then he's up the ramp, across the top of the truck and into the bucket and decides to take the wrong way out of the section which completely wrecks his rear suspension and well and truly finished off Takahisha Fujinami's trip to Sheffield this year. Next up was 23-year-old Spanish ace Mark Colomé on his Montessa and he does very well to get out of the way of a cartwheeling bike.
Mark Colomay had an excellent ride, dropping just 14 marks overall, safely guaranteeing his place in tonight's final. Remember, it's the riders with the four lowest scores that go through to fight it out. And last, but by no means least, into the arena, the man that many people had come to see, the current outdoor and indoor World Trials champion, 21-year-old Yorkshireman, Dougie Lampkin. Dougie Lampkin had an almost faultless ride, losing just six marks, putting himself, along with Graham Jarvis, Mark Colomay and Steve Colley, safely through to tonight's final. All the action from that, after the break. And so it's into the final. Four riders left to compete, Dougie Lampkin, Graham Jarvis, Mark Colomay and first up Steve Colley. Section 1 was the sleepers, which nobody managed to clear. Section 2 was the log section, which just to make things a little more interesting, was to be ridden this time in the reverse direction. The unfortunate Steve Collar here picking up another 5. And so on to section three, one rider after another to tackle the pipes, once again in the reverse direction.
then on to the section they called the roller coaster, another which proved to be incredibly difficult, especially when once again ridden in the reverse direction. Only Steve Colley and Dougie Lampkin managed to achieve on this a perfect zero. and the section which may have looked the most spectacular actually proved to be one of the easiest all night. It's the old into the truck and across the tyre trick. None of the top four lost any marks on this. And so to the final observed section of the evening, the dreaded waterfall. Steve Collar here, having got up it without too much problem, went for the big exit. And didn't quite get things right. But stand by for 10,000 people in the Sheffield Arena going absolutely berserk when Dougie Lampkin displays how to ride straight up the middle of a waterfall. and on to the high jump. Each rider has to clear the bars in order not to lose any more marks. Although that was never going to be a problem for any of these four. All that remained were the final head-to-head -head races. First up, Steve Colley versus Graham Jarvis. As always, the over-exuberant and eager to please Steve Colley kept the crowd entertained right till the very end. Fortunately, on this occasion, no damage to bike or rider. And so it was Dougie Lampkin against Mark Colomay for the final two races of the evening. The point situation meant Dougie Lampkin would have to fall off his bike in order not to win. And let's be honest, there's not much chance of that. And so Dougie Lampkin starts this season the way he finished last season.
as a winner on the podium with round one safely under his belt. And in next week's Two Wheels Better are reports from this year's Manchester National Motorcycle Show.